Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Orphan Last, aka Skylar Madison, and today we're finishing up this anticipation head turn animation. On the screen what you're seeing is the final finished project, and I think the turnout of it wound up looking fairly adequate. Now, in my last video I started drawing out these black and red lines, and for the first portion of this video, I'm still refining as well as creating a few more of these red and black lines. The black lines represent shadows and the red lines represent highlights. In the end I could have added more highlights to this animation but with me having plans to revisit this animation down the road, adding hair, doing a wide variety of other things to it, I'm happy with where it is. And my channel has been turning into this nothing but here's me, I'm drawing yet another head turn. Here's yet another update on this head turn. Yep, here's another update on this head turn. Uh, I just kind of feel like it's time to just, you know, move on to the next step. I feel like the result is, is adequate, and I feel like I've absorbed quite a bit of what this particular challenge is supposed to teach me. Since I plan on revisiting it, I... Like, uh, I'm sure I'm going to learn more down the road. Head turns are a fairly regular thing in animation, so I'm thinking that as I start learning how to animate a character to a script, uh, making the character act, and putting in naturalized body language, I'll be getting tons of practice with head turns down the road. At this point, I copy and paste all of my vector work that I have for the shadows and highlights, and I put it into a Toons raster level by copying the vector work and pasting it into the Toons raster and its level strip, okay? It won't work any other way. Make sure that you select all your levels on the vector work and paste it into your Toons raster levels level strip. That's the only way this works. I then just use the fill tool and change the colors of the styles used from the red and black to the lighter and darker value of the skin tone. And I just use the fill tool throughout the whole time. At first, the highlights and the shadows were a little too strong, and so I dialed it back a bit quite substantially. And all you need to do to do that is just by changing the color of the styles. Now, your styles inside of Open Tunes are not swatches. You can change the colors at any point in time with a Tunes raster level or a Tunes vector level, and all of the lines drawn out with that style will immediately change color as well. That's why they're called styles and they're not called swatches. Anyways guys, that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to check out some of my other videos. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.